Hello friends, welcome back. Let's talk about the user access. How do users do have access? Okay. So if you go to the users, for example, it's under admin added to main site. Okay. So if you go here, this multi-site one, uh, this is the site where the user you can see the Chandra admin. Okay. So how this uh how do you we can identify that this user only added to which site or something, or like what site access they have including the role okay so chandra admin id is the two so if i go to the user meta change the user id and filter out the two you can see the wp capabilities and user level right so this wp2 underscore capabilities is the administrator role okay so this meta key user meta key used to identify which site or uh, which user have which site access so wp underscore two underscore means the user have access to the second site okay the site ID, like second site means the site id uh, uh two site id okay and the user level or uh, like it's also depends uh based on this uh user roles okay and uh if i add the same user to another site for example let me just uh, go to our sites here go to the site two here go to the dashboard go to the users here add a new and I will add existing user because it's already added. So let me just Chandra admin, right? And I will add him uh, that user as an add editor, for example. Okay, and I, I'm skipping the confirmation. Add existing user. If you see, you the user have been added with the editor rule. Okay, in the third, uh, in the site two. Okay, uh, with the site ID three. And if I refresh here, now you can see the WP underscore three underscore capabilities have an editor rule and the user level is the same one, which is belong to the editor user rule. Okay. So based on this prefix, uh, the WordPress identify that, okay, uh, whether the user have access to that site or not. Okay. So this is the way uh, this uh, meta key, user meta key information are used for to determine the access of the sites or for the users. Okay. Uh, and similarly, all all other uh, dashboard related stops you can see um, in this way okay um, it will identify this prefix to to manage the set uh, dashboard settings for example let's say here um, i'm hiding some information like for example at a uh, let me quick draft and welcome i have hide it okay uh, from the site too okay and if i refresh here um, I just a minute where I can see I think I have made something okay uh, I have made something the dashboard related stuffs how this been worked refresh it's working so where it has been it, it should be here or maybe into the blog blog matter no not on the blog matter yeah something i'm missing here that where this uh, information saved so okay in the options table probably no not in the options table or into the wp3 options table um probably no okay i think i have missed something or maybe i forgot how this uh information saved uh about the customization of the different sites dashboard where it saves okay but i think i have I forgot about it sorry so you can figure like like you can you can figure it out where it, uh, those options has been saved okay and also the all the user roles and everything is uh, mentioned here in the wp3 user roles so in options table you can find out something here quickly check this one the wp wordpress uh, yeah, this one, the WP underscore three underscore user roles, all the user roles and capabilities, you can find it out here into this uh, uh, name, WP three underscore user roles. Okay. And similarly, in the WP two option, so you can see the WP underscore two underscore user roles. Okay. So, uh, and in the single site setup, it's a WP underscore user underscore roles. Okay. Uh, and But in a multi-site setup, it's a WP underscore two. So if you go here into WP options table, you can see WP underscore user roles. Okay. So based on this, uh, you um, the like options name, uh, we can like user can identify, WordPress can identify 
uh, okay so these are the different roles had there for the like in for, for particular site okay so there could be chances that right in the multi-site network setup that we have registered custom user roles but only available for or for the specific sites then the, based on this options table uh, it can be identified okay and other than that all the network settings and uh, like site specific settings and everything will be stored into the, this options table of individual sites okay and also uh, you can uh, register the user so for example if i go here to the settings and here you can say allow new currently it's disabled by default is disabled so user accounts may be registered okay so if i select it here and save a changes i have so there is a, a phone uh, you copy a file called wp sign up so this page used to sign up the user registration if only on only in the multi-site setup okay not in the single site setup but in the multi-site setup that url will be used so i have already opened in the network tab currently it was uh, disabled if i refresh now you can see your uh, you can register the users to the uh, multi-site setup network okay uh, include the wp sign up.php file so if i if i at least uh, add something like chandra2 and uh, chandra2 at uh, learn wpms.test okay something like that and the next okay so now your chandra2 is your username and you must activate it so probably we can get uh, uh, email address email so if i go to the database and go to the registration log not sign up so in the wp signups you can see here okay that uh, the, this uh, user have been signed up okay with and this is the activation key which will be used to validate the registration and if i go here to second side you can like i have i'm using the mail hook uh, locally so that i can uh, catch, uh, capture the emails so here you can see this in, uh, here and if i activate then the, your account is now active this is the password okay and i can simply log in okay so now if i go here in the registration i think this is only for the vendors uh, site at uh, sites created with the new admin user or existing admin users and here you can rephrase it one okay that user has been haven't been added anywhere okay but if i go here go to the users you can see this chandra to user but not added to any other sites for now okay so this is the way like the sign up table also used and the wp sign up.php file used for the to display the sign up form okay and also you can also allow users to create a site so like there are a couple of settings you can see here network settings uh, logged in users may register on new sites and both sites and user accounts can be registered so uh, if you want to like if there are any functionality or the features where you know you want to allowing the creating a new sites for the logged in users then this uh, using that uh, sign up and this uh, registration you can uh, we, um, you uh, the users can do that okay so yeah um, that's all about database overview and how the uh, data stored just only one thing i have missed about that uh, how the user customization about the dashboards and everything where it's stored i probably forgot about so i'm sorry about that but uh, you can figure it out like how how the how that managed okay um yeah so um that's all about it so after watching this video you can go through that okay and see how things like what are the database how the like database table looks like and just try to uh, uh, understand uh, all the settings how it's stored into this um table site site meta blogs and blog meta and everything okay and also parallelly you can explore the wordpress core base to understand about uh, code base and everything right so for example quick overview in the wp includes folder you can probably find out uh, uh, multi-site setup related functions and everything so for example msblocks.php site and blog functions that work with blocks a table and related data so you can find out some of the functions related to multi-site setup here then the ms default const ms means multi-site uh, like ms means multi-site okay and these are the constants and everything you can find it out then the default filters the applicated files ms functions so these are the functions get site states or the get active block for the users and there are multiple functions out there so which you can use so basically from these files uh you can uh, you can find it out the required functions like based on the requirements and the functionality you want to achieve and uh, 
and uh, we, like you can fetch the users of specific site you can get the information about the blog meta and everything switch to blog you can uh within a current set setup if you want to switch to another site to fetch the data from the from like from other sites that that you can also do using the switch to block functions and everything okay so that you can go through so you can just go through this ms hyphen prefix files which are related to the uh, site uh, multi-site setup related things okay so you can also create a insert a site wp insert site you can also create a site programmatically so this site api introduced in the 5.1.0 version okay so yeah um yeah that's all about it uh so you can go through this core core code base uh, to understand more about this multi-site setups and how things looks and including the database structure okay thanks for watching see you on the next one jay wordpress